Mr. Brian, what's the story down in Canyon Island anyways? The governor here in the joy says they can go to the game on Sunday. As long as I get him two stand tickets, or else I'll be in solitary till Monday. I'm going off the walls in here, I'm going round the bend. So send us on to Hogan's, and I'll always be your friend. Gula Bula, your biggest fan, this is Fran. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, dear Fran, uh, I only got your letter that you sent to me. Somehow, mistakenly, you went to my selector, Michael Dempsey. Uh, the chances of me getting you a ticket for Sunday, I'd say, are pretty slim. But sure, you know, as I say in GA, sure, if you're not in, sure, you can't win. Anyhow, you're more than welcome to join us for the homecoming celebration in the Marble City. The fact you won't be in Crocker to see us trans Galway, well, sure, surely that's a pity. Yours in Victoria celebration, Brian Cody. Fair play to you, Brian. Down now, Cusack. Eh, dear friend, your letter got to me just last week, and when I read it, I nearly cried. Thinking of you locked up inside, God, your brain, it must be fried. As regards the ticket for the hurling, I'm afraid JBM walked the plank. And ever since I'm flat out here in Leaside, trying to build bridges with our chairman Frank. You see, I'm going for the big job, and I need Frank Murphy on my side. So I'm afraid to ask him for tickets, or he'll only think I'm being sly. Anyway, as I say, better luck next time, when the people's a public of Cork, your friend Don Logue. I'll screw you, Don Logue. Michael Ring. Dear friend, your letter came from Francis, the Minister for Justice, and I'm sorry to say she told me that the outlook was atrocious. But there is always hope, if you are good and don't stray too far. You could be out for the Christmas and we might see you in Castle Bar. You see, I have you on the guest list for the TF Rive in the spring, to come down see Philomena Bagley. Michel Amass, Michael Ring. I was always a big fan of Philomena Bagley, you know what I'm saying? Luke Ming. Uh, dear friend, as you're not one of my constituents in the Midlands Northwest, I'll pass your query on to Phil Hogan, who I'm sure will do his best. Not. Failing that, I'm afraid, is all that I can do is make a call to Mick Wallace, Claire Daly, or Mary Lou. Sorry about that, friend. Your friend, Ming. Not a chance. Who wouldn't vote for them anyway? I'll be with John Mahon. A uh, dear friend, quite clearly down in Mayo, we only play at the size five. We leave the hurling to the Galway guys while our footballers eat them alive. I really hope you get a ticket and I hear the tiles are plenty. God knows where they get them. They must be well in with John Prenty. What about me, Alamar Hortig? Dear good you, Fran. Tossu lagum gul to cart galore. The last time that I saw you, you were flat out on the floor. As for tickets for next Sunday, should I see what I can do? As they say, only time will tell. So fang a fecky for me who. Here will be all of me, an absolute legend. Ciao, Brawley. You know, poor Francis, you know, I can totally understand your plight. Being locked up like that, sure, it must be hell both day and night. I hear the screws inside are pretty tough and the days get very tense. But then again, it could be worse, sure, you could be facing Tyrone's defense. <laughs> Asking me for tickets is an exercise in futility. The boys in the G have me blacklisted despite my endless talent and ability. So there you go. I could be your next defense barrister if you can afford me. Your friend Joe. I wouldn't get you if I got a parking ticket. Your man in the FBI, John Delaney. Ah, dear friend, I know you're a huge League of Ireland fan, and it's greatly appreciated. But the last time Galway played the Cats, they nearly got annihilated. So I've enclosed a pair of corporate seats, especially for you. It's for the game of the Aviva between Ireland and Kathmandu. P.S. These tickets come as part of the package, so you won't have to buy these tickets for the crap games if you want to get tickets for the good games in the qualifiers. Yours is sport, John Delaney. I knew that'd be a waste of time.